then uh, Brittany was saying, people love chocolate because it's the same fat content as mother's milk. How she knows this, it boggles the mind. Whether it's true or not, even like crazier. I don't know about that, honestly. Because if, if that's the case, they would be selling like mother's milk on the shelf. Everyone would be craving that stuff, right? I've also heard viewers in, in, in people that are trying to draw start with the eyebrows. It's advanced to start with the abs and move up. I know it's rearranging every like people are whoa, 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 whoa. I was taking notes and the thing I wrote in the top of the page was start with the eyebrows. Now you're telling me I have to go back and rethink my entire approach. The reason why I started here, there's a reason why, because it's an upshot. And so, for whatever reason, it's easier for me to go from the down up than it is to go from the up down. Much refrigeration, that mother's milk is going to go bad pretty fast. Raiders of the Lost Art Stream. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at the chat, so... Well, I'm trying, so if things don't look right. No, you know what? I did, when I worked on Hush, that was my favorite look. But once you've worked on the book for a while, or once you've worked on the character for a while, Batman. I really, at the end of the day, um, you know, people would literally get into fistfights over the length of the ears, or... Uh, armor, no armor. And I hated losing those fights, so I just said, screw it. I love them all equally. I understand some of you guys uh, draw while I'm drawing as well. That's kind of cool. I feel like I'm live memeing you guys. I'm sending you a live virus or thought that is sparking uh, some action on your part. It's like if I yawned in stream, you, like, you would yawn as well, like in sympathetic or parasympathetic or whatever it's called, uh, reaction. You can't control it. I think it's parasympathetic. Um... And so if I draw, if I just draw this, it's a oh, trigger behavior. You'll go like, oh my gosh, I gotta draw Batman too, or oh, I, I gotta snarling. I'm just gritting my teeth. Listen to that. That's my teeth. I've tried. I was there was this thread about. Um, I'm sorry, I wasn't drawing. I was just reading. Trying to enjoy the stream as well. Sorry, my bad. Because um, I know some of you are out there. Why do you stop drawing? Hey, what's up, Mason? Yeah. What's going on? Not much. What are you doing out there? I heard there was some commotion. Or I just have the overhead. Yeah, I know. I've got. I think I'm just do the eyes. I just see a lot of black shapes. A lot of shadows for this one. And this particular costume, I, they, they cut this this part very uh, straight across. How how does one make a name for themselves, especially in this day and age where the press and the media and the focus is so much more, I think, on the writer. Unfortunately, oh. Hmm, my, is this, how's this look? And, um, you know, it used to be you, you get on a book, you do a lot of hard work, tell great stories, stay on the book for like a year, maybe even longer back in the day. But now people aren't 
aren't staying on titles that as long. What is the secret? I know some people think like it's social media, but I know that that's not the answer. And no offense, I just... Um, meaning I think social media is good in that it uh, it's a way of engaging with an audience, but I don't know if it in, incites people, activates people, whatever the word they're using these days, to go out and actually buy consume, right? I was kind of joking with someone, sorry, I didn't like those eyes, that uh, on my Instagram feed, I've got what, over 300,000 people that follow, and you know, I'm like, oh, I gotta put new content, I gotta put a new sketch, I gotta update, and I do pace myself, and I do think about, um, and, I, and I follow the analytics, I figure out, you know, I see which ones get more, um, likes, you know, I get the little dopamine trip, hit, whatever, from people liking the comments and, uh, not comments, the, the posts, but then every now and then I'll put something up that I drew a long time ago, or that I thought, or more recently, and uh, something that I thought was well known, meaning that came out like three or four months ago, and people will be like, what's this coming out? And I just realized of these 308,000 people, maybe only f four of you buy comics. Uh, I know Crispy and Renee and Kate. That question, the need for putting new content on there, I should just Google Jim Lee Art and just post four or five times a day stuff that I've already drawn from like five years ago, two months ago. It probably will get the same amount of likes. It makes me wonder, who's following me? Maybe they just like art. Maybe Instagram or social media is the thing. It's not a thing to drive traffic or interest in purchasing things from a comic book shop. But that social media thing is the end result. Posting art or whips or process images or any of that all it does is it creates more interest in people following you, not necessarily buying or supporting the stories that you create. I mean, I think you do get some, but it's probably a low percentage yield. You know, put up new stuff, but those people are probably already going to buy the work. How many people on social media see something and go, I'm going to go out and get that? Because if it's even if it was much, much lower. Meaning, when you see sponsored content on your feed, how often do you go, that's cool, I'm going to go get it. And I know it does happen. Otherwise, why would people do it? But it's, it's not a huge percentage. So what I'm trying to say about my, my, my feed is how many, what percentage of people would know that it's old stuff versus new? I guarantee you it's probably a low low percentage people know. But that's just me being me cynical. Don't worry. I like putting new stuff up. I feel like I'm, I'm selling it short if I just put up old stuff. And when I put up old stuff and it gets a lot of hits or likes, I'm like, it's tempting because it's always surprising to me. Right? If I just start posting up hush covers... These are readily available JPEGs on online. You know, the colored, literally, images of the co covers with trade dress. I guarantee you that they will get more likes than, than this drawing I'm doing right now. So I should just stop and just Google, copy and paste, I'm done. If I'm trying to grow the channel. Right? But then if you use that logic... I should just start posting pictures of cats and just change it into a cat cat blog. Because cat blogs have more likes and viewers and followers than any of the stuff I post. Right? I'm in the wrong line of business. Does a comic book art blog from on Instagram make any money? 
uh, no. Wow, this guy's got big sloping uh, shoulders. So in my head as I'm doing this, I'll give you guys a little insight. Uh, I know I'm going to put a lot of black here. So I'm just kind of greeking out, greeking out. Um, I don't know how that word got into our vocabulary. But I'm basically um, just very kind of generally blocking out big shapes. Right, knowing that this is all going to be shadow, so I'm not worried too much about the rendering. I'm looking at, I'm leaning over here on my monitor, and I see all sorts of detail. So I, all these kind of ribbed elements are going to have shadows underneath here. Okay, and then this, there's like. A, And actually, you know, go into Discord if you have ideas for other streams. Uh, there's a part of me that goes like, what would happen if I streamed like every day? I can't, obviously, because of my day job. But if I streamed every day, would more people tune in or less because it was less special? Or is it... Uh, but then you look at other people on Twitch, and they're streaming like 12 hours a day, every day. I mean, they're playing video games, of course. A lot easier to do. So, uh, it just gets me down. I can throw my headphones onto the screen going like, ah! I should have been more into video games than cats when I was a kid. <sighs> anyway. Instead I'm drawing trees. Drawing perspective lines. Landscapes. Drawing fruit that don't move. Still lifes. Right? I could have been a contender. If only I had grown up with multi button mouses. Could have been somebody. Could have done it. Could have. This is a strange stream, Bub. This is, when I say Mickey Mouse Club, this is pre-Justin Timberlake, Ryan Gosling, Britney Spears. This was the real, original, look on YouTube, <laughs> Mickey Mouse Club. And working studios, they basically have um, teams of artists that uh, work on the here in America the artist does the main artist does the keyframe or the most important stuff and then everyone else draws uh, all those parallel lines and uh, um, faces and stuff like that um, most American artists work without assistance and um, will you see that style I don't know I don't know I just to me, uh, if I if you use an assistant, you're not going to get the same level of left one. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right. So before I uh, finish this, and I'm still maybe ten minutes away from finish finishing. Uh, this one will be a silent auction, and. Uh, do that because if it was an open auction, I, I find it just a little bit demoralizing and I think it would kind of tune people things. Excuse me. And uh did ten dollars and then see it fly by and then kind of other people outbid you. Uh, so we do it silently through whispers and so you put in what you feel comfortable bidding and and then if you don't win, you don't win and um, there's other opportunities. I think, you know, in terms of strategies to win, because we have it so that high cheer kind of gets to pick the image, and then you silent auction, whatever, silent bidding. The background first. This is going to be mostly black, so I'm going to put the blacks up here in counterbalance. All right, create these really nice Gotham City storm clouds. Just feel those clouds. 
feel the smoothness of the clouds. Try to get that volume in there like little cotton balls of darkness. Right? That's how you do it. Right? Move your hand in a nice, slow, concentric surgical. Think dark, gloomy thoughts. Rainy, gloomy thoughts. I was watching a movie. Zorro. It was the happiest time of my life. And then this man, with a gun, he brought my happiness, my perfect life, as the scion of a billionaire, to a tragic end. And now, I wear the suit of darkness, as I have vowed my entire life to fight injustice. Let me get back. All right, get back. Get, get back in character. All right. Uh, what else has happened? Uh, oh, had to train. Had to train. I had to go all the way to the Himalayas to train. No 24-hour fitness near me. Very cold in the Himalayas. Regret going so far away. Could have just signed up for have created my own 24-hour fitness. If I do this in a panel, I'm going to say, I had to go all the way to the Himalayas. Could have just signed up at 24-hour fitness. <laughs> why so dumb, Bruce? No father figure in life, that's why. Oh, makes sense. Just old, crusty guy from England. Sorry, Russell. To be my role model. Ah, feel at home because of crusty old guy from England with dark stormy shadows and clouds. At this young boy's life that was his innocence, his innocence cut short early at a very young age. Yes. Yes. I like this little bit I'm doing. I'm going to use it at WonderCon. I'm going to do it in front of a live audience. I'm refining it. I like it. I like talking in, in uh, sort of the uh, internal monologue, internal thoughts of the Batman. Yes, must call myself by third person name. Put the in front. The Flash does it. The Joker does it. I want to be cool too. I will do it too. I will be known as the Batman. Finish, when I say finish, let's start connecting some of this. I don't like, if it's too discombobulated, it's too separated, it doesn't feel like clouds. It feels like ink smudges on paper. So let me just use this very quickly. And it's probably very bad for the uh, brush hairs to do this. But no expense spared for you guys. I will sac gladly sacrifice brushes for this stream. You would think one of these brush companies would say, hey, we'll send you free brushes. Oh, I buy a brush. There's no other um, criteria. Is the food here? Yeah. Ah! All right. I'll be right down. Ooh, Batman. It is Batman. He's so fancy. Fancy. This big vat of ink right here. The way you whisper, at least on, on my uh, computer, is at the lower, right at the bottom of the chat column, there's like a purple sort of uh, speech, whatever, comment button. That is the whisper functionality. I see I have a bunch of whispers already. Please don't whisper me anything. I'm going to literally throw those out. Not that I don't want to hear your thoughts, but I, you know, I don't want to, uh, just wait till I say just wait, just wait. Okay, uh, so now I'm just sort of spotting big heavy shadow. 
Mason, uh, I, I'm not really concerned with the number of people that stream or watch the stream. Like, if I were concerned, I would have started a cat blog. I'm really more about teaching and inspiring people through art. Have them reach for the stars creatively to find their full potential as human beings through the use of... Oh, no. Hello? What was that? I thought it, I thought it was a, a mod going to come in and tell me, stop with the BS. You're hurting people's feelings. Um, yeah. You don't see any ink over there, do you? Like a little bottle? One, one of these like little... To power through. Get enough. Why is my wife asking for a power drill? Why is it dawning on me now, minutes after she's already asked? I mean, it's kind of odd. It's like... Okay. Shadows here. Did she say, uh, don't leave my, don't leave his, <laughs> no? I mean, I don't know if these are full or empty. Oh, yeah. As the oils from the, uh, India ink pigmentation rise and form beautiful crystal-like cells. applies itself lightly, but finishes with a very strong, black, opaque darkness. Okay. Leather here, I think, right? Basically, um, spotting blacks were the underside of the fingers here. is kind of it right here dry brush use the dry brush to make it look what shiny. i like how when the when you the brush gets dry mm -hmm. it kind of works with the drawing yeah happy accidents okay and then See if we can do this right.
excuse me, oh my gosh, almost a full on cough right, right into the microphone. It is a thick pencil. Okay. All right. Now the cleanup stage starts. So first erase the lines that might be too thick that kind of um, take away from the structures I've drawn. Pull out some of the highlights here, right there, okay, okay. Now um, go in with a thinner pencil so I can add some detail. And then basically kind of trap some of these uh, gray areas I've drawn. Like that. Kind of give a, a bit of an outline to the shapes. back in with this. Okay, looks like it has, oh. And we're going to basically create some darker shadows. I want, I want all this up down here to go to black. Mostly black. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Move it where? Okay. There we go. Yeah? Oh, uh... Yeah, no. Yeah, it has to be. I, I don't want to do the bookkeeping involved. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, they're asking if you can pay installments, yeah, just, I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible, and there's another reason to kind of reduce the number of sketches I'm doing, is that, uh, literally we're sending out, like, you know, uh, so many sketches a week, and it was just like, that's too fewer, and, um, make them a little more special. Watch out, there's stuff all over the floor there, Mason. down a bit. Okay, thanks. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, now do the same thing that I did with the pencils, but we'll do it with the marker. So adding detail, taking some of these kind of blobby or black shapes and making them into things like shadows that kind of better define the form. Yeah. 
realizing I've used white out over here to kind of clean that up. Okay. Cape lines here. I'll fix the uh, the bat symbol with white out as well. You know, I like the sketchiness of the, the, the lines I have here, but um, so to make it to kind of rein it in a little bit, pull it back a little, do some rendering, kind of trapping some of the shadows, uh, filling them in, adding a little bit of visual detail, as they'd like to say. And I'm basically also adjusting the values, how dark they are. And really, this with a pen, there's only one way of doing it, which is to make it darker. So like, see, that's black and that's lighter, so I'm just going to go in here and just kind of uh, adjust that a little bit. values look like they could be darker. But in general, the whole idea is as we get down here, it becomes more dark and black. Reinforce some of these excuse me, detail lines. And then take some of these kind of messier blobs and make them into details, right? Add details to it so that, the, that these blobs have an anchor to some sort of detail so they don't look like blobs, they look like shadows, they look like um, mesh, whatever, I mean. Right. And the idea is you're working very quickly to keep that kind of energy in your pen line. here because he wanted me to unlock the VR. He's Jones into play. Because I'm sure he already finished his sandwich. Why would he let it sit there and get cold? So with these, I'm just changing some of these shapes to turn the form so that it's more of a forearm like that. Cyril, I haven't checked chess. It is. It's a place for people from all walks of life, all around the world, to come together. Okay. actually don't know what I'm doing. I'm just uh, adding kind of black lines and shapes reacting to what I'm putting down, but the idea is to kind of create visual interest and some definition to the stuff that's going on. Whether it's line work, shadows, what have you. Keep it very sketchy, very light. I'm trying to approximate and create grays.
going back to this and see how this is doing. It's doing well. Okay. It's, it's dried off enough that I can get a pretty medium tone gray. And then I'm just going to keep reinforcing this idea that it gets darker as we get towards the bottom of this. And the first obvious ones are cleaning up the edges. Putting a little highlight, bits of highlight. Excuse me. Almost done, guys. Thanks for hanging in here. Before I go, I want to thank uh, the mods. Uh, Kate, Renee, uh, on Discord. Had a lot of help from, uh, from Crispy. And uh, thank you guys for being here, spending your Sunday with me as I ramble about all things anything that's on my mind unfortunately and uh, thank you for supporting the channel thank you for supporting Instagram I know there are a lot of other cat blogs that you could be checking out then I gotta add some rain dude it's Batman it's Gotham City <coughs> excuse me oh first the bigger rain
only drawback to those Pentel markers is that the the, uh, the line, it's hard to get a very, very thin line. So you almost have to kind of work around, like you have to put the thick line and then go back in and um, kind of indicate the line you meant to put down. Just by kind of making them a little thinner, a little more subtle. Okay, and then probably uh, probably just add a little bit of rain, not too much. I don't want to get too crazy with it. Try to keep it fairly. Someone cheered, or someone followed, something. But doing this, holding the page, splattering it, trying to get the splatter to go where I want it to go. Uh, tricky, tricky. I'm holding it down with this pinky, this finger, flicking it this way. It is actually hard to do. Make it look simple, right? Not really. Okay, almost done. I, I want to add a little more density over here. A little, just a little more density. over here. There's still things I don't like. Let's put that there. Let's make some of these details darker here. Beef up that. Looks weird right here. Let me fix that. There we go. Let me fix some of these raindrops. There are too many in a row that look just the same. I saw part of the whole drawing while I was working on it. Let's see. 